Hi there, everybody. Welcome, welcome to another video. Uh, I'm Mixed Please, and thank you so much for being here. Today, we are going to talk about marks. Marks make their return to Scarlet and Violet in a very cool way. Uh, but uh, first, what is a mark, right? Like, what, what is a mark? You may know what ribbons are. Ribbons are usually unique signifiers given to a Pokemon after they do some kind of a task in game. It's like defeating the Elite Four and the champion and then getting inducted into the hall of fame uh however a mark is a little bit different a mark is given to a pokemon at the time of its catching you might have one already first thing i'm gonna do is show you how to search to see if you've even gotten a marked pokemon and odds are you probably have and you didn't even know it all right so here's how we check first what you're gonna do is you're gonna click x and you're gonna go to your box click the boxes and then you're going to get to this page, right? You're just going to get to like a box full of random Pokemon that you've probably caught. If you look at one of your filled up boxes, you're going to click A and check summary on the Pokemon. And then move over twice till you get to this page, right? And if you see on the right, it says current ribbon or mark. I can just click up and down to move between the Pokemon and the box. And you can just kind of keep going until you see that screen change, okay? So we're going to just keep going through the box, and you're going to click everything. Oh, there we go. Okay, if I see that, that screen shift, right? So we see it on the right side here, how it's changing the screen. This Pokemon doesn't have any, and then it says title conferred. If it says title conferred, that means your Pokemon is marked. That's what it means. Uh, or it has a ribbon. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab Saw's Buck, and I'm going to drag him to my party, Okay. Just gonna exit the box. From this screen, go down to your Saw's Buck or whatever Pokemon that you had, and you're gonna click Check Summary. And go over there. So now it says, assign a ribbon or a mark, and you're gonna click A on that. Oh, cool. All right, so I have the Sleepy Time mark. Uh, this means that it gives my Saw's Buck the title, Saw's Buck the Sleepy. <laughs> okay, so I know, this is a little goofy. It actually does nothing other than give a unique property to your Pokemon. You'll see the title is assigned when it takes over that box to the right. So now it is title conferred Sawsbuck the Sleepy. It's just a little extra fun thing that some people don't know about. So here's what it looks like in game. I'll show you guys. Send out my boss diff and go Sawsbuck the Sleepy. Whoa. <laughs> so how do you get marks? And what are some of the cooler ones? Let's talk about it. Okay, so I've caught about 250 Pokemon so far. And out of those 250 Pokemon, only six of them have marks. One of those is actually a ribbon on the event Pikachu. Now let's talk about some of the marks that you'll be finding here. Um, so we've already seen the Sleepy Time mark is pretty common. And so I'm talking about like one in 50 chance during a certain event that's happening. Down below, I'm gonna post a link to the mark page on serebi.net. I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, there are a few marks that I find in particularly useful and I'm gonna talk about them right now. One of those being the Titan mark. Uh, this is a mark given to a Pokemon that was previously a Titan. Uh, this is extremely cool, right? These are the Titan Pokemon that you are finding in the game, which means that there are five, five Pokemon that you can go get. Uh, that will have this individualized mark on it. So it gets the, gets the, uh, this is my Bombardier. Uh, you can't see him behind my camera right now, but he is... Storkly, the former Titan. I've got Shellus the Reluctant. This mark just has a small chance of appearing on any Pokemon that you catch. There are some marks that you can give your Pokemon after you catch them. One that I'm really, really excited to have is the Alpha mark. This is going to be given to Pokemon exclusively that had alpha forms inside of Pokemon Legends Arceus. That's going to be really exciting. So how can you up your chance at getting these marks? Because some of them have a 1 in 100 chance, some of them have a 1 in 50, some of them have like a 1 in 1000 chance. So like this is, how do you do it? How do you do it? You can do it using sandwiches. Hmm, I know. Uh, it is unfortunately locked to the post game, but I believe that all of the Urban Mysticas have an ability to give you title power, okay? And title power is going to give you the ability to do, I guess, just get marks more. I was telling you guys earlier, uh, the Raichu 
has a ribbon that you get downloaded from online. It has the classic ribbon. So it is titled Raichu the Pokemon Fan. What? What are some of your favorite marks in ribbons that you have? Uh, please share them with me below. If you have any questions or concerns or you want to see a future video on something that you haven't seen, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.